talked to a police officer yesterday who's leaving, guy with 33 years experience, tells me a lot of experienced officers are leaving. And uh, I think that's going to be uh, more and more of a problem. Uh, I don't see it really turning around anytime soon. I asked this officer what the numbers are. He said the real numbers are less than 1,000. So we're getting false information. We could be getting false statistics. And uh, I think this crime problem uh, could be really intensifying in the days ahead unless something dramatic is done soon. Sure, and, and especially uh, if you're looking at a 35 to $45 million uh, obligation that we have, the city has, uh, that at this point is not funded. And those are the uh, court-ordered uh, judgments. So, uh, you know, it's... it's uh, well, here's what the mayor tried to do. He had a trio of taxes, uh, hotel tax, he had a property tax, uh, and um, he had uh, a cigarette tax that he proposed. I don't think any of them are going anywhere in the legislature. So uh, that's going to be uh, a challenge for him as a mayor. Yeah, uh, so, so what do you cut? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, you cut his salary and cut, you know, uh, I... I Understand about the uh, uh, deputy mayor increase in, in yeah in salaries and sure I, I think that would be a good a, a good way of going uh, it's it's symbolic if anything uh, but what else do you cut the cops I mean it's I don't I don't know I I, I haven't looked at the budget uh, I don't, I don't know the budget but but what do you what do you cut well, I mean, it looks to me that you can start with cutting the deputy mayors and rescinding all the salary increases. That might save you a few million. Uh, and then from there, uh, I think uh, you try to, you know, whittle it down little by little and uh, find whatever kind of efficiencies you can. Uh, I, I know that it's a challenge, but I don't think the uh, legislature is going to go with the tax increases. I, I don't think that is the route to take. And also, I'm wondering, Steve, I mean, the tourism industry, and let's talk about that for a second. Uh, it's not good. It's not a good signal to send to the NFL or anybody else about coming to New Orleans if you're going to have the highest uh, hotel taxes in the country, is it? No, it's not. I mean, definitely not. Uh, you know, and, and uh, um, I mean, you're making a good point. It's not. But let me ask you this. If, the, uh, if we have confidence in voters, then shouldn't the state legislature uh, give the uh, cities and the parishes, et cetera, the right to decide their own fate? I mean, I'm not. I'm not endorsing, you know, these, uh, uh, you know, uh, these taxes. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying mm -hmm. that, you know, shouldn't shouldn't the cities be able to uh, con control their own destinies? Yeah, you know, the, the the mayor has a real problem. I mean, you know, uh, not only are, are we at the bare bones, but now he's got looking at 35 to 40 million dollars in addition, and so. Where, where's the money come from? Well, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, he's uh, instituted fee increases on uh, various water bills, sewage bills, uh, other types of uh, revenue mechanisms that he has at his disposal. Maybe he'll throw out more uh, red light cameras uh, out there. Maybe he'll put more parking meters uh, out. Uh, sure, you know, I mean, there are ways he can, uh, he can jack up uh, the taxes that he does already have at his disposal. Sure, and maybe maybe he can hire the same firm that uh, Bobby Jindal has hired to uh, come up with uh, ways to cut government. Uh, you saw what happened yesterday. Uh, the uh, I mean the uh, the Secretary of Revenue uh, tried to convince the uh, uh, committee uh, to uh, uh, to accept accept the uh, pro proposals. Uh, that this this uh, this group who advised the governor and they said no, you know we, we can't we can't uh, uh, estimate the revenues based mm -hmm. upon maybes and what ifs. So I don't know. I, I don't know the answer. I mean, I, I don't. Uh, Let me ask you this: What yeah. is the real situation as far as the budget? Uh, I've heard uh, conflicting numbers. It seems like it's a big mystery. Uh, I'm also reading this morning that. The administration may need to borrow money uh, just to, um, you know, uh, fund these uh, higher ed facilities. So, what are we really looking at here? <laughs> I gotta tell you, I, I really don't know. I mean, because I don't think the legislators know at this point in time. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, there are some people who really do feel that we will have a special session in the fall or or, or in the uh, spring uh, because we still have the Medicaid issue. 
uh, hovering over our head. And uh, what do we do with the charity hospitals now that this financing uh, mechanism has been turned down by uh, the feds? You know, and, and I, I, I don't get it. Uh, you know, I know our governor just wrote a piece uh, that was published by Fox News yesterday, and he said that he knows a little bit about uh, about med uh, health care. And yeah, I mean, look at his health care program. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it is in a mess. Yeah. Like Taking your calls, 504-556-9696. And uh, Steve, uh, one more issue I want to throw on the table and then get back to the calls. Um, with six weeks to go until the uh, current fiscal year ends and two weeks until the legislative session adjourns, seems like uh, now you've got the state treasury uh, department saying the Jindal administration may need to take out another loan to continue to pay for expenses at our colleges and universities. Uh, what do you know about this? <laughs> Pretty much what you know about it, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, this would be, I think, the third uh, loan, and I think they, uh, the general administration is saying that they'll pay it by the end of uh, July, and uh, and that's, you know, they have some money coming in. Um, <sighs> you know, I'm, I'm as... Uh, uh, Flummox about this as anybody. Uh, I mean, this is this is the administration that said that you know that we should um, you know pay our bills, uh, not uh, take out uh, loans and mortgages, and and uh, so. Well, uh, it's just is uh, just another indication of what kind of fiscal trouble we're in, right? Yeah, I mean that's that's. What, he, you know, as I understand it, and, and this is what I'm getting from both sides, uh, you know, the supporters and, and those people who are, uh, say, not supporting him, and, and, and that is that the economy is doing uh, well, 4.5% uh, in terms of unemployment, uh, but you got to factor in, just like nationwide, you got to factor in, you, you know, those people who are just have just given up. Uh, but still, Louisiana is doing better than all other southern states, and I think we're number six uh, in the nation in terms of unemployment. But nobody can find any jobs. Um, I mean, well, you know, it's it's interesting. It's a tale of two uh, statistics, I guess. Uh, Chief Executive Magazine uh, also ranked Louisiana number nine in the nation for business. Uh, Texas was ranked number one. And uh, it's been number one for 10 years in a row. And uh, people were saying, hey, that's a sign that we're now becoming more receptive to business in the state. Yet it seems to me that, uh, again, uh, we see uh, major corporations uh, that don't really have headquarters here. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess we're getting uh, some uh, improvement as far as the business climate. But I think we're still losing more people than we have coming in. I mean, I think our out-migration still is greater than our in-migration. Well, the, the, there was testimony yesterday in, in the legislature that I think we're losing uh, four uh, members of the uh, faculty uh, you know, per day. So, uh, I mean, that, I think that tells you. And, and the point being that, that the private sector may be doing better and hopefully is doing better, but the, the money is not coming into state government. And so, despite our cuts that, I mean, we're cut to the bone uh, and have cut way beyond what Jindal has wanted us to cut, um, but the money is not there. And so, we're always going to, and, and in a year, in two years, you know, from everything I have, you know, uh, heard and, and talk, people I've talked to that, you know, the, you know that we're looking at a uh, billion to two billion dollars. Uh, you know, in the next uh, year or two, and when Bobby is, leaves and goes to Washington, you know, the rest of us are going to be paying the bills. Well, so, speaking of Bobby leaving, uh, today he is, uh, I think, in Florida at a speech to the American Federation for Children. Yesterday he was in New York for a meeting of the Republican Governors Association. So uh, he is still the uh, high-flying uh, traveling man, isn't he? Yeah, and, and uh, you know, he's, uh, I mean, he can do very well if once he leaves office as a, a columnist, uh, a, uh, a travel agent, uh, <laughs> right. the, uh, head of the Secretary uh, of uh, Transportation, as Governor Edwards has said. 
Look, I mean, you know, his future is, is quite bright. Um, you know, and hopefully the people in Louisiana, yeah, their future is bright also. I, I, I don't, you know, it's hard to tell. Uh, I mean, right now, government future is not bright. I mean, right. I think everybody will agree with that. All right, 